Here I am, and we are in Rockport, Massachusetts at Ken Knowles' studio. Ken Knowles, is, is, uh, over the years, has really developed uh, into one of the more renowned artists on Cape Ann. And we're not just here to talk about Ken's work, we're also here to talk about Jonathan Cahill's latest venture in representing local artists. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Ken Knowles, and I'm John Cahill. John, what, uh, what, what, why don't you explain how our meeting, the three of us here, came to be and what, what we're here to talk about? Well, I, start, I built a new website called Wells Maritime Art. You can visit us at wellsmaritime.com. And really the idea came out of the fact that we've got a lot of great artists here on Cape Ann. And Ken was the first one that I went to visit to look at his work but also talk to him about our idea about sharing this artwork with a broader audience outside of Cape Ann, outside of New England even. And so uh, Ken was very gracious, showed, showed us his work and um, we actually ended up buying a few pieces for our collection. And Ken is just, you know, in my mind Ken's representative of really great artwork done locally but has an appeal regionally. He's a sought-after artist, has been for 20 years. Um, we're just really glad to have his work in our collection. It's you know, really solid, uh, solid painting and uh, we also like the diversity of his, his work. Each painting is different. He tries to do different things when he goes to start a painting. So it's, even though we're really proud to have Ken Knowles paintings in our collection, the paintings are different. They speak uh, on their own and so we really like that about Ken and, and he helped us as we were talking about this idea of, of starting a website that that features local artists so well it's interesting because you told me about the idea just last night it was the first time well, a couple days ago it was the first time I'd heard about right. it but it all made so much sense and then, I, then I'm thinking to myself I can't believe this hasn't been done before and with your experience with the web and marketing and stuff like that you're the perfect person to bring this this type of project to light. Well, I appreciate that, Joe. You know, basically the idea is, is we're talking with artists and purchasing art that we like, that we would like to hang up in our own homes. And we think other people would like to as well. And those folks, you know, they don't have to live on Cape Ann. They can live anywhere in the country and still appreciate, you know, the great work that Ken does. So I appreciate that. But, uh, you know, without, without artists like Ken, you know, it's uh, it wasn't going to happen. So. All right. Well, let's turn it over to Ken. Ken, you've been you've been painting for how long? This is my twenty seventh year. Your twenty seventh year, and I want to. I just got to take the camera off of its little perch here, and I want to just to give people. <laughs> this is something that I thought was really interesting. What am I looking at here, Ken? Uh, you're looking at about twenty two years of uh, scrapings from my palette. So. Uh, you don't get to use all the paint every time, and you, you, it dries up, and uh, you have to clean your palette and, and there it uh, scrape is. it off with a knife. And I just got in the habit of starting to pile it up there, and uh, that monster uh, developed out of that. I think it's uh, a. I think it's people bad. joke that I'll make more money off of that someday when I'm dead <laughs> than any of my paintings. I'm sure you've heard that, like yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's a common uh, remark. But the quality of your work is uh, is remarkable, and. And can we talk a little bit about uh, how you got started and and what what were some of the things that influenced you? Oh God, I mean, I love talking about this. Uh, I started to paint when uh, I was 15, and I had always done artwork all throughout school, and um, was always in the art room, and I was always drawing. I was also playing music. I did a lot of music. And, uh, but I didn't know, I, I never thought I was ever going to be a painter, um, even right up until I graduated from high school. And uh, I had a girlfriend at the time whose mother painted with an easel outdoors. Is and that plain air? They call plain it? air painting, they yeah. call it, yeah. And uh, I, I was painting flowers on sweatshirts for Christmas presents. <laughs> and she saw my abilities doing that and said, you know what, you should try painting outdoors. And I, and I, you know, it's weird. I don't have any of the stuff I need or anything. She goes, I do. So she gave me an easel to use and brushes and set me up with a palette and a canvas. And I found myself outside painting. And uh, I... Wait, wait, could, could you, I'm yeah. sorry for interrupting, but is, 
Is that your formal training right there? No. Okay, sorry. No. Again, there, there is more formal training. I did not go to an art school, and, uh, and I'll explain that. I'm going to try to be as brief as I can. It's a, it, there are so many fun and interesting things that have happened in my life with, when it comes to the paint, people I've painted with. Um, I could go on and on and on. Uh, but So I'm painting outside, and I literally just fell in love with it. It was springtime. Um, and the paint, the way it smelled, and um, I had used oil paint, but not like this. Um, and I was hooked. And uh, so we got we got some company here. All right, we'll just take a little break. Yeah, we're we'll back. Be right back. The magic of the internet. Uh, so I had I had done my first painting outdoors. I, I fell in love with the idea, and I just gung ho went into. I, I got the materials I needed, and I was off and running. And um, shortly after that. Um, my last year in high school, um, I was painting already, and I was thinking about going off to engineering school, but I think I was basically hooked. I met my first teacher, Stapleton Kearns, um, who's a fantastic painter and a great guy, and became a great friend, and we've spent um, the next 10 years painting together, um, and he taught me a lot of um, what it is to be a painter and how to paint and all those things. Uh, I moved on um, by myself for a while. And then I, I um, went and knocked on John Turlock's door. And I studied with him for a little over a year in the early 90s. And uh, he taught me a tremendous amount about being an artist, about um, the business end of it, about painting, about uh, just, it goes on and on what I learned from that man. And, uh, you know, I owe a debt of gratitude to all the artists that I've studied with. I, I painted outdoors with Bruce Turner. I painted outdoors with, with, with uh, a long list of painters. And some of them become dear friends. Um, and I kept, kept on, kept on, kept on, and I, I ended up not going to school, um, I just kept painting, and this is where I ended up. I, I knew I wanted to do it, um, and I wanted to do it right. It was John Turlock that said, you know, if you want to be good at something, you have to be an expert, and uh, becoming an expert at painting takes a long, long time, and uh, so I just kept on, kept keeping on, and uh, uh, I met my wife, I've had kids, I have a beautiful home here, and I, I feel like the luckiest man in the world. Um, There's something to be said for do, for getting paid to do what you love to do. It, 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 it's great. I mean, it, def, it definitely we you know this these days times are tough for everybody. But I can still sit down and go, oh my God, I'm you know I'm doing what I love doing and, and I'm, I'm I'm managing it. So uh, all right. So basically, I met John and he's coming back in here. You know, yeah. step out for a second. And uh, he came over and he told me about this website and. Uh, I was intrigued. Um, there are people that have done this before, and I think it's a, a, a apprehensive thing because it's uh, it isn't the way traditionally people have been selling art. Um, but I believe that in the in the future it's going to be a lot more of this. And he made a beautiful website. I'm very proud to be part of it, and I'm very uh, I was very flattered that he came to me first. Um, and, uh, so we can find we can so the, we can find it at Wells, WellsMaritime.com. And Ken, do you have a personal website as well? Yeah, KenKnowlesFineArt.com. Fantastic! Thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Joey. Thank you.